All right, greetings. First off, with the first video of content that I'm going to make on YouTube with the long range handle, is that we're going to be looking at <clears throat> what is known as the spur mount. A lot of guys that shoot long range or PRS or anything else that has to do with precision uses the spur mount. Now, what made me actually make this channel is that I have recently been aware of a mount that you should be aware of, or not so much be aware of, but be weary of. Here we have two mounts. At first glance, there are seemingly no differences to these two mounts. There are, they're both made of aluminum. They both say spur. They both have the same patent number. And that's where the similarities kind of end. Because one is fake and the other is real. If I were to, to guess, or if I were to purchase one of these scope mounts, used, I wouldn't really know whether or not one was real or one was fake. The only reason I know which one is which is because I have them in hand. Now let me talk you through some of the differences there might be or they may there are between the real spur mount and the fake spur mount. First off we see that we have a coloration difference in the anodizing. That is not really very apparent, but it shows. But the clearest way to know the difference between these two is if you flip them over and look at the bubble level. Now the spur mount is white. And the fake mount is green. That is probably the easiest way to see the difference between one and the other. There are also other small details because this is quite easy to replace. If you have a Allen key, you can replace the bubble level by screwing out this screw and putting in an original spur. Thereby you can cheat again. There are some other telltale signs that shows this is not an actual spur. But if you look at them, I mean, the build quality of the fake is actually not bad. I'm just going to take the real spur away and then I'm going to try and take the fake apart. Now this fake has six screws just like the original. It has a torque 20 just like the original and the screws are exactly the same length. So everything is just like the original. On the inside we have the same grooves as we have on the real spur. Let's dump those out right there. There we go. Now, on the inside, we have the same grooves as we're used to on the true spur. But, looking at the top of the ring mount, you notice that there are telltale differences. Now, we have, first off, the numbers or the letters on the spur mount that have, on the true spur, it says TJFS. On the fake, it says M A. P U. Sorry about that. 
Now offhand, if you don't know them very, very acutely, you wouldn't notice. But also notice the difference in the milling. The True Spur has the A40 milled deeper than the fake. Now moving on to one of the other telltale signs or telltales that this is a fake is if you look at the spur mount, you have the spur right there and you have the different numbers and mill tilt and so on down here. Looking at the fake again, the milling is not quite as deep on the fake and the dash right here, the dash is actually touching the zero mil marking. It does not touch on the true spur. Also, a difference that is worth noting is on the burrs right up here. The burrs on these screws have not been milled down. Looking at the true spur, they have, of course, been milled down so as not to catch on anything. Other than that, we have on the bottom, also very, very, very similar. And just a disclaimer, these are not the same mount. This is a SP3302, and the copy claims to be an SP4002. So therefore, they're not quite as long, they're not quite as the same. It would have been best if I had two equal mounts, but I don't have any zero mil mounts in my, in my possession. <clears throat> now, coming back to the bottom, you again see the milling of the R-O-M-U on the bottom of this mount. And then you see the very shallow milling of the QQVA. Other than that, they're exactly the same on the bottom. There are no differences whatsoever. And I thought that if I, with the relatively extensive knowledge I have on Spur and on their different mounts, if I could be cheated, there are probably a lot of other guys out there that also could be that could fall into the trap of buying a second-hand fake spur. Spur has been made aware of these fakes. Um, one of my good friends, Jacob at KO Skull in Boarding, Denmark, has taken it up with the managing director, Soren, at Spur. And uh, they're taking... I guess they're taking action, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't talked to Soren. But anyway, this was the very first video on this channel. I'm hoping to bring way more content of the same kind or of different scopes, chassis, different types of ammo, all kinds of stuff. So... Stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care and be safe.